this week in the world of art. Japanese art goes pop. A contemporary spin on ancient art in Rome. And let there be light. But first, step inside Belgian theatre director Thomas Belnick's version of what a museum dedicated to the collapse of the European Union might look like, with a mock-up of the EU's 2012 Nobel Peace Prize and fake fruits and vegetables which adhere to the Union's notorious dimension requirements. The installation is a collection of the contradictions which the artist believes will cause the death of the European project in 2018. The House of European History in Exile shows an ironic interpretation of Europe's economic and political woes and will be open, appropriately enough, in Brussels until mid-June. Meet Mr. Dobb and the man who created him as his alter ego, Takashi Murakami. He's just one of the odd yet charming characters featured in a new solo exhibition of the works of the Japanese artist, which can be seen at the gallery Perotin in Hong Kong until the 6th of July. Murakami's unique psychedelic style is famed for marrying cartoon and pop culture influences with traditional Japanese art. The ancient Greeks didn't ride motorbikes, but the helmets on these statues are giving a modern twist to a classical art form as part of an exhibition nestling amidst the ruins of Rome's Forum. The post-classical exhibition is comprised of new works by 17 artists which explore the links between contemporary art and antiquity. Visitors can discover the modern creations as they wander through this ancient part of the Eternal City until the end of September. Now, spectacular displays of light and colour drizzled over giant canvases. These eye-popping visuals can only be seen at the Vivid Sydney Festival, lighting up the city's harbour and its emblematic buildings until the 10th of June. Every evening after dark, artists such as the Spin Effects Group will use the light installations and 3D projectors to set parts of the iconic Australian city ablaze.